Ion exchange chromatography is a process that allows the separation of ions and polar molecules based on their affinity to the ion exchanger. It can be used for almost any kind of charged molecule including large proteins, small nucleotides and amino acids. The solution to be injected is usually called a sample, and the individually separated components are called analytes. It is often used in protein purification, water analysis, and quality control. Principle Ion exchange chromatography retains analyte molecules on the column based on Coulombic interactions. The stationary phase surface displays ionic functional groups that interact with analyte ions of opposite charge. This type of chromatography is further subdivided into cation exchange chromatography and anion exchange chromatography. The ionic compound consisting of the cationic species M plus and the anionic species B can be retained by the stationary phase. Cation exchange chromatography retains positively charged cations because the stationary phase displays a negatively charged functional group. Anion exchange chromatography retains anions using positively charged functional group. Note that the ion strength of either C plus or A in the mobile phase can be adjusted to shift the equilibrium position and thus retention time. The ion chromatogram shows a typical chromatogram obtained with an anion exchange column. Typical technique. A sample is introduced either manually or with an auto sampler into a sample loop of known volume. A buffered aqueous solution known as the mobile phase carries the sample from the loop onto a column that contains some form of stationary phase material. This is typically a resin or gel matrix consisting of agarose or cellulose beads with covalently bonded charged functional groups. The target analytes are retained on the stationary phase but can be eluted by increasing the concentration of a similarly charged species that will displace the analyte ions from the stationary phase. For example, in cation exchange chromatography, the positively charged analyte could be displaced by the addition of positively charged sodium ions. The analytes of interest must then be detected by some means, typically by conductivity or UV visible light absorbance. In order to control an IC system, a chromatography data system is usually needed. In addition to IC systems, some of these CDSs can also control gas chromatography and HPLC, separating proteins. Proteins have numerous functional groups that can have both positive and negative charges. Ion exchange chromatography separates proteins according to their net charge, which is dependent on the composition of the mobile phase. By adjusting the pH or the ionic concentration of the mobile phase, various protein molecules can be separated. For example, if a protein has a net positive charge at penthouse 7, then it will bind to a column of negatively charged beads, whereas a negatively charged protein would not. By changing the pH so that the net charge on the protein is negative, it too will be eluted. Elution by increasing the ionic strength of the mobile phase is a more subtle effect, it works as ions from the mobile phase will interact with the immobilized ions in preference over those on the stationary phase. This shields the stationary phase from the protein, and allows the protein to elute. Separation can be achieved based on the natural isoelectric point of the protein. Alternatively a peptide tag can be genetically added to the protein to give the protein an isoelectric point away from most natural proteins. Elution from ion exchange columns can be sensitive to changes of a single charge chromatofocusing. Ion exchange chromatography is also useful in the isolation of specific multimeric protein assemblies, allowing purification of specific complexes according to both the number and the position of charged peptide tags. Uses, clinical utility, used in measurement of HbA1c, porphyrin and water purification. Industrial applications, allows for quantitative testing of electrolyte and proprietary additives of electroplating baths. It is an advancement of qualitative hull cell testing or less accurate UV testing. Ions, catalysts, brighteners and accelerators can be measured. See also, isoelectric point, high-performance liquid chromatography, chromatofocusing, references. Bibliography, Small, Hamish. Ion chromatography. New York, Plenum Press.
ISBN A0-306-43290-0 Tchana Vice. Vice, Joachim. Handbook of Ion Chromatography. Weinheim, Wiley VCH. ISBN A3-527-28701-9 Gjard, Douglas T. Fritz, James S. Ion Chromatography. Weinheim, Wiley VCH. ISBN A3-527-29914-9 Jackson, Peter. Haddad, Polar Ion Chromatography, Principles and Applications. Amsterdam, Elsevier. ISBN A0-444-88232-4 External links, Ion Exchange Chromatography Handbook, LC Instruments at DMOZ.